What's going on everyone? This is Chad with Believe in the Run. And this is Alex at Believe in the Run. And we're here today and we're gonna bring you our favorite Big Dude Approved shoes by Adidas. Adidas is one of those brands that when it comes to running shoes, they are at the top of the game. Everyone knows they just released the Evo Pro 1 and we just saw the women's record go down in the Berlin Marathon by over two minutes. Ultimately, I think they're putting out great shoes, not only for the pros, but great shoes for us amateur runners and us sub, 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 sub elite runners. I think, did I get enough subs just, in there? They just call themselves the big dudes. The big dudes. Okay, let's talk daily trainer first. What are you logging everyday miles in if you're looking for an Adidas shoe? I love getting miles in this shoe. It's been a ton of fun. Talked about it before even. Boston 12. Boston 12 has been a lot, a lot of fun since I got my hands on it. And it's going to, you know, be one of those shoes that you can just turn to, set it, forget it, have fun miles. If you need to pick up the pace, it's gonna help you with that. The rubber on the bottom is gonna last you forever. I've had 200 miles on this shoe now and it still looks like it just came out the box. I agree with you on the Boston. I have here my pair of Boston 11s. I just got my pair of Boston 12s and I don't have that many miles in them, but we'll talk about that. I really enjoy the Boston series. I enjoyed the 11, not a lot of people did. We've talked about that before. I probably have about 40, 50 miles in this pair of Boston's. I thought it was a perfect blend of firm, fast, and great daily miles. It was a little too firm for some, but like you said, Continental outsole, you can take it out. Very all weather, it's breathable, the mesh. My feet never got overheated during the summer in these, but I feel confident running in them uh, in the wet and the cold. I really enjoy the Boston series as well. And if you're looking for you know, a firmer shoe, the 11 you can pick up for a great price right now. Never hurts to cut a couple bucks off the, that price tag, so that, that's a good shoe to turn to. Dude, I just want to get into race day. Let's let's talk race day shoes, man. You know, they're gonna Thomas is gonna run a different way than I do. I mean, mm -hmm. Thomas is finishing a marathon, you know, sub two hours. I'm finishing a marathon. Sub two sub, hours. Yeah, yeah, sub two hours. Oh wow. Okay. That's what he's going well, for. Well, I guess right? he's running the Evo Pro once. <laughs> That's yeah. what I'm thinking. So for me, I'm gonna be on foot for at least four hours. Mm -hmm. Some probably four and a half. It was my first ever carbon plated shoe or carbon rotted shoe we could say yeah. here the adios pro 3 this is a shoe that has grown on me in a really special way that you need to give it you know a couple runs but you will fall in love with it this is a race day shoe that you know i can now go and do my long runs in i can do my some tempo miles if i want to get them in there you're gonna really enjoy it it is big dude approved because it is nice and squishy as well which is a great feeling. I rave about this as a race day shoe. I have worn it in various races. Like Alex said, my first run in it was a four mile tempo run where I went out, I did a little warm up, then I did four tempo miles. There's a learning curve. The rods take a little bit of getting used to. It's a different feel, but it is something that once you get your feet moving, once you get the turnover going, once you get things powered up, it's great. And continental rubber. Can't beat really it. can't beat it on race day. Honorable mention shout out if you're talking shorter races, uh, the Takumi Sen series, also a great option. I don't know if you've run in the Takumi Sen. I have, I ran a 10K in it, absolutely loved it. I haven't got my foot in it yet, but I have heard great things and Chad's raved about it, so it's definitely big dude approved as well. Adidas does tend to run a little bit on the narrow side. I am able to get my feet in this and be fairly comfortable. However, if you are on the wider side of regular, um, it may be something that you need to uh, look into wider sizes. Definitely in this shoe, I would I would recommend if you have a wide foot, check it out before purchase because I agree, it is a bit of a narrow shoe, but I've apparently got a narrow foot. I, a newer, not narrow, but it's not it's not wide anymore. It used to be wide. Yeah. All right, and now we're gonna move on to, for me, when it comes to being a big dude, comfort is key. I want something that I'm going to feel super comfortable in for long miles, for long runs. This is a shoe that is new to me. Um, and if you watch a lot of Believe in the Run content, read a lot of content. Thomas mentioned that he thought this is a shoe that I would enjoy that some of the other people were a little bit meh on, um, almost maybe yellow light meh. Didn't necessarily live up to the hype that was built for it. Prime X Strung 2. This is mine. This is mine. Yeah, I couldn't agree more. If you're a big dude, big runner, 
and you watch that review, listen to ours. <laughs> because this shoe, I'm just gonna, I'm gonna come out and say it. This is by far the best big dude approved race day shoe I've ever put on my foot. I have picked up the pace in it, super easy to do so. The stack height is epic on this thing, so you're gonna feel comfort throughout that run. And I described it like this. This is an e-bike, all the other shoes are regular bikes. It's a heavy shoe, but once you pick up that pace, you don't even feel it on your foot, in my opinion. I mean, I, I have not ran into one single issue in the terms of weight. I've ran 16 miles in it, didn't even, didn't even cross my mind about the weight. I don't have any miles in my pair as Alex has in his. In fact, he was the one raving about it to the point where I had to get it. The thing about this shoe that surprises me the most is the stability of it. It is a almost engineering marvel that they can make a shoe with this much stack height that would still keep someone like me who has a minor overpronation issue in my right foot. It keeps me straight over the platform. The, the bias in the heel just keeps me going forward. It's got the super, super soft and comforting Light Strike Pro. Uh, it has that puck in between the, the sandwich between the two plates. It, it's almost hard to describe. It's almost like a Goldilocks, the perfect blend of the firmness and rigidity from the plates, the softness from the Light Strike Pro, it's so comforting under the foot. It really is what I think could be a perfect race day shoe for someone looking out to go and do a four, four and a half, five hour marathon where you're gonna be on your feet that long. And maybe you're PR hunting because uh, you know, you're know you gonna be able to go fast in this shoe. So at the end of the day, people keep asking, is it worth that $300 price point? Every penny, every penny in my opinion. So check out Primax Trunk 2, check out the rest of these Adidas shoes. They're a lot of fun. We've been enjoying a lot of miles in them and they're all big dude approved. If you like this video, I'd ask that you like and subscribe to Believe in the Run on YouTube. You can follow them on Instagram, Facebook. You can follow me at the Clydesdale Runner on Instagram. You can follow me at Herm Runs on both TikTok and Instagram. And if you ever see us at a race or at an event, come up, talk to us. You can send us messages online. We love chatting all things that are big dude approved. Absolutely. I know that we we all watch a lot of shoe reviews. I mean, Thomas is probably the greatest shoe reviewer of all time. Let me stand behind the camera. <laughs>